This is Travis Holmes with your Viking report for February 1st. The men's hoops team kicked off a two-game road stand by defeating UIC Thursday night 63-49. to Norris Cole led the Vikings with 22 points, while Chicago native Jeremy Montgomery added 13. Luda Nadai added 7, and Josh McCoy scored 9 as Cleveland State used a 16-3 run in the second half to build an 11-point lead and never look back. The Vikings outscored the Flames in bench points 18-9 and points off turnovers 24-11. The Vikes won their fifth consecutive game at Loyola 81-70 on Saturday, aided by a 19-4 advantage in fast break points. Above the arc left side, feeds the post heel, and a shot blocked in the left baseline by Lattice. Here comes Cleveland State, Cole on the fly, all the way to the rack layup, good, cross, right side, McCam, an open look, three, rims out, oh. Avercamp's tip, no good, and Pogue is there on the strong side to come away, up ahead Cole, Cole in transition, right side, finds Montgomery, left-handed three, book it. 145 to play, Avercamp, a half hook with the right hand off the mark, long carry comes out to Cole, three on one, bounce pass to a trailing Harmon, layup, good off the window. Trey Harmon led the Viking attack with 21 points, while Aaron Pogue posted a double-double with 12 points and 10 boards. Cole tallied 17, Tim Kamchek scored 11, and Montgomery netted 10 as the Vikings dished out 18 assists and only committed 9 turnovers while scoring 25 points off of Rambler turnovers. The wins in Chicago propelled Cleveland State to the top of the Horizon League standings at 9-2 and, and clinched their third 20-win season in four years. The Vikings have a home showdown with Valparaiso for first place in the league on Thursday night, followed by a nationally televised home rematch with Butler Saturday at noon. The women's basketball team went on the road and dispatched host Youngstown State 86-65 in their only game of the week on Saturday. Shalonda Winton exploded for a career-high 31 points, while Destiny Blue tied a career-high 20 points in the win. Winton finished 12 of 15 from the floor and contributed nine boards while Shanita Garland tacked on 18 points to go with seven assists and four steals. The Vikings hammered the Penguins on the boards 42 to 25 in the victory. CSU hits the road for a pair this week at Green Bay Thursday and at Milwaukee Saturday. Both tennis teams were in action over the weekend with the women losing at Bowling Green 7-0 on Friday. The women then headed back home to host IPFW Saturday night at the Paramount Tennis Club and fell to the Mastodons 4-3 despite wins from Alex Bush, Maria Lazares, and claiming the doubles point. The men's team hosted IPFW as well on Saturday and defeated the Mastodons in a clean 7-0 sweep. The Vikings singles players won all 12 sets in the six matches and took two of the three doubles matches to earn the point. The men host Niagara Saturday while both teams host St. Bonaventure on Sunday. The women's swimming and diving team took on Bowling Green on the road and fell to the Falcons 170 to 124. Karis Bain won the 200 free and the 500 free, while Alice Somerville won the 100 fly and 50 free. Alexandra Johansson tacked on a win in the 100 back, and Casey Cummings swept the diving events for CSU. Both the men's and women's teams compete at UIC on Saturday. The wrestling team dropped its second conference dual meet 35 to 7 at Edinburgh over the weekend. Ben Williford earned a major decision and Robbie Michaels closed out a 6-4 decision in his bout, but the Vikings couldn't gather more momentum against Edinburgh. The Vikes will host Bloomsburg in another EWL dual meet on Saturday at Woodling Gym. And both fencing teams were in action at Notre Dame. John Marshall went 24-0 for the men as the Epi team went 7-1 on Sunday with their only loss coming to the top-ranked Fighting Irish. The Sabres went 2-6 for Cleveland State. The women's team dropped all eight of their bouts, but Alex Dickinson had a solid weekend, finishing 11-4. This is Travis Holmes with your Viking Report for February 1st, and for all the latest news on Cleveland State Athletics and highlights, visit csuvikings.com.